Today, we are going to give our take on Spy X Family Core 2, Episode 2. Excited? A bit. But, hey, let's not get ahead of ourselves, guys. First order of business is the thumbnail. I can personally say that the thumbnail um, totally doesn't give justice to the final scene. It was a really tense final scene, guys. Dahil, well, uh, as a pet lover, eh, medyo, I'm gonna feel sympathy for this dog. If Lloyd successfully shoots this dog, maawa ko eh. Kasi, kinasang, Kinasang kapan lang ni Kitty to eh Para patayin ang Gwestalian Foreign Minister Wow okay. I tell you guys The thumbnail doesn't do justice to the final scene But I gotta I gotta put uh, I gotta put a thumbnail right there just to um, Just to represent this video So Yeah you know, Superficially Maganda forma ni Lloyd doon Si Isito He's priest He is twilight at that scene Talagang, ah, uh, he's in a completely different zone. Now, let's get on with the review itself, guys. Space! Mula nung uh, nabasa ni Anya uli ang, ang isip ni, ni Mr. Dog. Well, we're gonna call him Mr. Dog. Okay? It's, it's, what, it's what our, um, it's what our, it's what the real star of this anime is calling him. Okay? Doon naging tense ang... <laughs> ang pacing ng buong episode. Anya is in a race against time to save her, to save her, um, to save her foster father, si Lloyd. Or, to prevent that event from happening. Which, she was sort of successful. Mula sa eksena niyon hanggang sa final scene, it was a really tense space. If, oh, Keith's mere, um, presence in the episode, well, it doesn't, it did not relax the pacing, not one bit. Because, yep, he is, he is right now the big bad of this anime because of, um, because of his motives to, to assassinate the foreign minister of, uh, Westalia, of Westalis, pala. So, it was a really tense pace, but, is it good enough to, um, to convince you to watch it? Let's put that at 70-30. Right. But pero if you have, if you got a if you got a heart condition, I would strongly suggest na lang. watch the episode a little bit slower. Okay, pagala nyo ang play speed ng uh, ng online player ninyo. If you got such a condition, para lang nyo magets ng hindi ng hindi ka inaatake. Okay, flow naman. First gear shift here is probably the most obvious in the episode. That scene. Where Anya sees Mr. Dog's vision of that uh, of that bomb blast. Ngayon, ang hirap ng don, hindi niya matandaan kung ano talaga ang oras na lumabas dun sa vision ni, ni Mr. Dog. Ang uh, ang tina ang tanchan niya when the clock goes boom. <laughs> pag pag gumong yung 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 clock tower. This was the gear shift that we can say that actually triggered the entire episode. That's what gear shifts do, guys. Final gear shift. The final gear shift was Lloyd disguised as the Australian foreign minister um, puts himself as bait to Keith's bomb dog. Keith's one and only remaining bomb dog. It just goes to show you through this gear shift that Keith is a certified terrorist. Walang pakaya kung sila mamamatay. Basta ma... ma-reach lang yung objective niya. Huh? It's exactly what terrorists do. Pero, this gear shift will also lead to the final scene which eventually gave us that thumbnail. These two gear shifts that I saw, panahon niya lang ang dalawang isena nito. Magigets niyo na ang buong episode. Bloodlines! Um... Very clear cut yung pacing. And the gear sheet said it all. Therefore, malinis ang plot, guys. Wow! What? 
if you want to elicit um, tension in the viewer, emotional, emotional, mental tension, whatever that is, you gotta have a clean plot. Right? Kasi kung lalagay nyo ito ng side story or back story, pero teka, may side story nga pala dito eh, but it's totally negligible. Kasi, in-explain lang kung paano uh, kung paano tumating sa eksena nyo na biglang nag-decide na biglang, biglang nag-decide ang foreign minister ng studies na that he's going to drive his own limousine. Okay, kaya pala. That's Twilight in disguise. Si Lloyd pala yun. So, it's just an explainer sequence. Hindi siya talaga uh, backstory or side story. So, malinis pa rin ang plot, guys. If it weren't for the clean plot of this episode, hindi natin mararamdaman yung uh, yung sense of urgency ni Anya. Okay, well, what's more, the sense of urgency being felt by Twilight and his associates uh, from Wise just just to stop this terrorist this potential terrorist attack the plan to assassinate uh, their foreign minister well and it also makes you uh, it also makes you want to root for these guys to that just to stop this scumbag named Keith so base flow and plot absolutely came together guys so spy x family core 2 episode 2 no brainer. Mm. Ito ang parking shot ko for this episode, guys. If you're uh, not totally caught up yet with the hype that is Spy X Family, rest assured, guys. Just get caught up in the hype. Okay? I've been uh, I've been saying this ever since this anime started airing. The hype is real. Okay? This anime deserves the hype. Napaka unique ang story ng ito. I haven't seen this kind of storyline in any other spy anime that I have seen throughout my throughout my 44 years as an anime fan. I don't know if the um, I don't know if the older anime fans have uh, have seen such uh, seen. Uh, an identical storyline in another anime. Well, I've yet to ask him. And I've, I've yet to meet someone. Okay. <laughs> What's that? It's okay to subject yourself to the hype surrounding this anime. I'm telling you guys, the storyline is um, it's novel and it's worth your time. Okay. Pero for this episode, I'm warning you, you better not have a heart condition. Or you do and if you're still and if you're and you still if you, if you still want to watch this episode pagalan nyo ang play speed okay hindi kayo mabigla masyado alright so again Spy X Family Core 2 Episode 2 2 thumbs up